So we're three minutes on and we haven't touched the manuals yet, all right? So we'll just chuck them in there. What we have learned, first, first of all, the dome is great. We'll show you now in a minute. Um, this basically comes off, yes? It's the protector cap as well. They've got a new rubber collar that basically slips onto the actual uh, head itself. So that's very, very clever. This is the part that will take all the accessories. Um, we only tried, let me, sorry, just go get the reflector dish. We only tried a standard Ellenchrom reflector dish on it to see if it fits, and it does, and it's snug. Uh, whatever else we're going to actually see as far as the, um, uh, the other accessories concerned, I've, I've yet to hear from Ellenchrom anyway, but, but that kind of works already. So this was just that simple rubber collar that basically slips on to the actual head itself, all right? Um, I mentioned that in here, you can see that little bit of an LED, LCD, whatever it is, okay? That little thing in the middle, all right? We still got the standard flash tube, we still got the kind of the protector cap that goes across it as well. Um, when it's in charge mode, we believe that this is on all the time. It shows you it's actually plugged in and doing a charge, um, but again, not quite sure. We haven't been able to find the uh, remote trigger, okay? So, but they do know I've got loads here, so it might not actually kind of be there anyway. Um, I think we should have a look at the back end now because it's really quite clever. Remember, we're three minutes on from the unboxing for real. So uh, the main thing is basically, uh, obviously switching on the power. That's gonna have multi-function for us in a minute. So it's remember this one. As standard anyway, group one, we're familiar with that. Uh, we can set it into four different groups. We've got different frequencies. Uh, you know already that 0 0.9 in Ellenchrom land, yes, um, it's kind of that is one stop and so on. It goes down to 0 0.1 as it were, um, but every time we increase the power, it's one tenth of a stop and so on with it. So if we press the three little lines here, or if you're using bifocal glasses, like I have, it looks four, all right? If I press the three though, all right, it comes up with now a touch screen on the back. So it's got its kind of action mode uh, with the little man running, switch that on and off. It's obviously got a, uh, a sound if you want that. We can also have the magic eye on. So in other words, if another flash flashes, it's gonna fire. We've got an aeroplane mode, which I can only gather means that it's safe to actually travel with. I've got no idea on that, all right? Uh, basically, we've got the, blue, the Bluetooth mode and then obviously just coming down into the group. So this is in the second screen. So in group one, like we just saw actually in the unboxing, you can dial that up and down without any trouble. But of course, you've also got, I'm not sure if you can see because of my big fingers, yeah? But we can kind of change the group from tapping the screen instead of the dial, all right? Remember when we touch the dial, turn the dial or touch the screen, this is gonna change its corresponding color. So group uh, four is basically green, three is red, two is yellow, and then one is blue, okay? We're used, we're used to that by now. Um, kind of uh, get back out is either touch screen or not. The color balance was the weird thing that I didn't quite un understand, to be honest. Um, but I think it's just to do with the coloring of the modeling uh, uh, light itself, okay? So if I kind of change the different colors here, this is gonna change the actual op options to with it. But the only way we've actually found how to um, kind of move it into the, the, the look that we want is by pressing, just by accident, <laughs> I must say, we pressed the actual power button and basically we moved into the modeling bulb increase in power, yes? Not sure how you can see that. Let me just turn that around. Okay, so that's getting more or less powerful. So that was by pressing the uh, on off button once. If you press it twice, this is where you go into the color mode. So as standard, it's set into the 5000. That's where I just chose on that other screen, yeah? But I can actually change the actual color. If I just turn that around a minute, okay? So it's basically, if I just move that across, that might help. You can start to actually see the color there. And then as I change to its color, it's given me a different kind of color balance and things really. 
all right? So I think that is just really to match in with your environment if it's visible in the shot or for video or whatever it would be, okay? Uh, it is fan cooled, I'm not sure if you can hear that. But that's the coolest fan I've ever heard on an Elinchrom. <laughs> Brandon's going, you can't hear it. I'm not even sure where we can hear it. Can you hear that now? Yeah, there you go. That's how I'm putting the microphone right over top of it. That is really how quiet this is with it. So really, really good for video as well with it. Uh, what else did we discover? I can't remember now, to be honest. Our excitement part was when we discovered that we could actually increase the modeling bulb from just actually pressing the power button. So remember, uh, pressing the power button basically get into this mode, you're into probably what I would say is a normal Elinchrom. If you touch the top left hand corner, like you just saw me do, yeah, just press the, let me go back to here, all right? Uh, if I press the G1, this is how fast it is, I go into the group mode and it's from here I can actually change the actual groups by just tapping on the back. That is sweet, really is sweet. Uh, it's going back from there again. If we need to, um, then go into something like the, free, uh, the, free, the frequencies in the settings mode, the cog wheel, I, I think is where most of all this kind of intelligent is really going to actually kind of change, change itself for the future, including like I touched on the auto off and everything else with it. Uh, I'm not sure as a, a new user to it, how long it's basically going to last for and things when it's unplugged. Remember, this is a battery operated flash. That was the biggest shock coming out of the whole thing was I thought it was just gonna be an updated D-Lite one. Um, in other words, run from mains power. So I don't know the price point on it. I can't give you any information on that. But seriously, as a pro Elinchrom photographer, I've been an Elinchrom photographer for a very, very long time, or I should say a photographer who uses Elinchrom lights for a very, very long time. It's not off often you basically get very pleasantly surprised. But I've got to be honest, on a Friday afternoon at uh, 10 past three, when you receive a box at quarter to three, and you go, oh my God, we're going to have a look inside. And then it's like a Christmas mor morning, except your dad, i.e. Brandon, the video guy, goes, no, we're going to do an unboxing video. Uh, I just want to rip it all apart. But yeah, pretty good. Uh, I mentioned before about the charger. It is a USB-C. Uh, it was actually on the box anyway. Um, the nice thing about it, what we were on about, was the charging battery cable uh, is basically the same on each end. I think that is really, really intelligent. More often than not, you see kind of one end that does one thing, another end does another. But just little things for me as, as a, a tog out, out there, really trying to actually work kind of fast, uh, it really is great. And, and we, we love the idea of being able to pack it away in a simple bag. And both Brandon and I already have, have been touching and caressing the backpack. Uh, so Brandon, get used to it because you'll be wearing it. You'll be carrying it. Just call him a mule. But uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry I can't give you any more information, but I literally say it arrived half of an hour ago and we wanted to do it. We're not even sure if we can release the film yet. We'll find out from Ellie Crop. <laughs>